Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lursey and today I want to talk to you about using adjustment layers in Photoshop. Now the thing adjustment layers do is they allow you to apply effects to your image in a non-destructive way that you're not actually affecting uh, or you're not actually changing the image itself but you're more putting an effect on top of it that you can later remove if you want to. Let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. If we take this image here and say we want to go in and do a levels adjustment. We would go under image, adjustments, levels. Just bring up our little uh, histogram here. Let's move this stuff out of the way a little bit. And we could go through and we could bring in that a little bit, bring in this a little bit, and make whatever kind of an effect we want to do to it. Let's go way in like that. Um, hit OK. And now we've, we've created the effect. We've done the adjustment to it, and you can see it's darker, and, and we've made the adjustment. The problem is, if somewhere down the road we decide, wow, that was too much, um, I think I've, I did too much levels on it, really the only thing we could do is go back in our history all the way back to that state where we made the effect and take it out, which you, we, we may have been working for an hour afterwards on that. And so... What we've done though is when we're doing it on the layer like this, we've actually gotten rid of those pixels. We've cropped in uh, on that histogram and just pretty much gotten rid of everything outside of it. So that information's gone. You can't really bring it back other than going back in your history. And um, so the alternate to that is to do things down here using a layer adjustment. If you click this little button here, these are, are, are what you're working with on that. So you can see here's levels right here. By clicking levels, what it does, let's just drag this over here, is it sets up an adjustment layer on top of our image and it goes ahead and sets up a mask for us. And here's how that works. Same thing, we got our adjustment thing we can bring in here, bring in here, do whatever we want to do to the effect. And it's, it's affecting the image, but it's actually sitting on a separate layer up here that I can turn off and on. So you can see how there you have um, the effect on, now it's off. Same thing you might want to do is um, you could go in here and do uh, the black and white, for example. And it's going to make it black and white. Now again, the advantage you have is because this is on a separate layer, one, you can turn it off and on, obviously, but because you've got the mask set up here, if you wanted to, you could go in and paint back in some of it and do some of the you know, kind of crazy letting the color come back through or some of that type stuff. You can play around with it however you want. If at some point you decide, you know what, I don't like it in black and white, let me just drag it down here, turn that off, and, and now that effect's gone. We still have the, the levels adjustment that we can turn off and on. And now, the way I used to do it before I started using level adjustments is I would still do it on its own layer. Um, what I would do is I would make a copy. For example, I would make a copy of the layer I was working on and I would do my adjustment to that one. I'd go in, change the information, save it. So now I did have it on a separate layer. I could turn the effect off and on. But I didn't have a whole lot of control afterwards. If I decided that was too much effect, all I could really do is bring down the opacity and let some of that bottom layer show through and kind of weaken the effect that way. And that works okay, but there's so much more control when I just do like this and have it all on its own layer, make whatever adjustment I want. And that way I can not only turn it off and on, but I can even you know, somewhere down the road when I've been working on it and I come back and I say, you know what, um, I need to change this. I can double click, brings us right back up and I can bring all that information back. It's all still there. So it's a really cool tool. You just kind of have to get used to using it because it seems like an extra step, but it really is giving you a lot more control having all this stuff on an adjustment layer. And you can see there's a lot of different ones. You can do your color balance here, um, levels and all kinds of things on here that work on an adjustment layer. So give that a try. Uh, next time you're going to do uh, an effect like that, like adjusting your levels, try doing it on an adjustment layer like that and um, see how it works for you. If you have any questions, be sure to send me an email, and I hope to check back for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.